believe it or not, there are people out there that don't want training. Yeah, it hurts me too. I've had to learn time and time again how to overcome very vocal and overt resistance to job-related training. But before we go down that road, I want to clear something up. I'm not talking about toxic people and toxic behavior. That's a much more serious issue. What I'm referring to is the very common feeling of anxiety and fear related to job specific training. Growth and learning are really uncomfortable. And so it's going to feel uncomfortable, but that's totally normal and part of the process. In fact, you'll have to lean into that discomfort in order to grow. So here's what that might look like in a couple of different personalities that you could have at your own organization. The first one we'll call the genius. The genius is the smartest person in the room and you know that because he's going to tell you so at every opportunity. He couldn't possibly learn anything because he already knows and he's ready to teach you something and point out the flaws in your logic. That is a genius. The other personality type that you may have encountered is the veteran. The veteran has been at your organization forever, decades, 30, 40 plus years. He's been doing the same thing for so long. Why change now? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. We've always done it that way. If this sounds familiar to you, then you probably have a veteran. Now, don't get me wrong. The veteran and the genius are invaluable to your operation. The genius is likely a very intelligent, self-motivated person. And the veteran has a level of ownership that can only be attained with time. He probably knows more about your operation than anyone else on campus. So here's what you do. Before you roll out or make any sort of communication about training to your whole team, you get the buy-in and support of those who you suspect that you'll have some resistance from. Meet with them early on and get their input on what the team needs and what's going to add the most value in terms of training. But you have to use that input. You can't just dismiss it. What's really important is that you make them allies early on because what you don't want to do is try to petition for it out in the public because by then it's going to be too late. All right, so what do you do if the whole team resists the idea of training? That is a great question and we will talk about it next time. Thanks y'all.